example i'll be teaching you about anthem um stock just type it in google and this thing will appear it's anthem inc is the name and antm is the symbol and um this uh if i want to buy right now it's 290.57 us dollar for one stock and uh, the market cap is in billions which means a big size firm the dividend yield is 1.1 percent any company that is paying dividend that's a brilliant thing because that means they're financially strong because after paying their liabilities costs uh, creditors they still have extra money left that extra money they pay to shareholders as dividends even if the dividend is very small don't worry because that is a positive sign of any firm because they are able to give dividends that's brilliant that means they're very strong financially let's look when was this um Founded. Just go to Wikipedia, find this box. You can see founded in 2004. And um, I want to see what the employees working here think about this firm. So, what I'll do is I'll just copy this from Google, I'll paste it here, and type in Indeed Reviews. And I can see that there are 4,200 reviews and it's 3.8 star. And you can just read through the pros and cons yourself. You can see the salaries they're paying, getting the job, set a listed question and answers now i will show you the glass door reviews as well and um it's 1800 reviews and it's 3.4 star and you can uh, see read through the reviews yourself you can see the jobs listed the salaries they're paying the interviews the benefits they're paying and the photos of the firm now i'm going to go to just your patent and see if they have any patents listed or not so um i'll just paste the thing in google and i can see that they have a patent in 2018 um, I just want to point out that please concentrate on assignee or applicant because these are people who have full rights of the patent. Don't look at inventors because they don't have the rights of the patent. So I just want to point out another thing is that if you just see Anthem Leather, don't be confused that maybe that's the same company as Anthem Inc. Uh, what I normally do is that I just Google the one I'm searching and that thing appears and then I, I will Google another one that is similar so to see if it's the same thing or not so that's a different thing that's a leather wholesale firm and that's an insurance company so it's a different thing so that's not the patent we're looking at we're looking at this patent 2018 um, that's a leather one that's not the one we're looking at and uh, anthem health solutions healthcare solutions let's have a look so um i just want to see if it's the same thing yes it's the same thing with the same symbol look and that's the same symbol okay now so that's 1995 it has a patent and just that so it has two patents and one of them is very recent in 2018 that's brilliant so it means they're still innovating trying to innovate so the more patents a firm has the more stronger it is let's go to yahoo finance and see if they have uh, what who are the executives and what salaries they're getting and if you're confused about which one to click which symbol to click i'll just tell you it's very easy to find out just click just search the company in google uh, that um, you're uh, saying and you can see that in nasdaq you can see the symbol is antm in nasdaq so click antm only and go to profile you can see the sector the industry the employees and i want to point out that we have five key executives all of their salaries all of their salaries have been shown that means that it's very transparent because the more um, information we have about the firm the better it is it's very transparent all of their salaries have been shown now i want to go to macro trend go to price ratio price book ratio and paste in the symbol okay and now i want to point out that if the ratio is less than one that means stock is very cheap it's undervalued it's a discount if the ratio is more than one that means stock is expensive the higher the number goes the more expensive it gets you need to be patient with this uh, website because it takes time to load because it has a lot of data so don't worry be patient um but it will make your life quite easy please let me know if i'm going too fast in the tutorial or if you want to ask me any questions or if you want me to make a tutorial about a particular stock or you want to connect with me uh, please let me know and um, you know I'll work on it right now i can see that um 
it is uh, 2.41 which means stock is 2.41 times more expensive right now if I just have a look at um, it 2018 September it's 2.43 if I just explain it briefly somebody who bought in 2018 September they paid $272 to buy something that was $112 worth right now it's 2.41 times more expensive somebody who bought in 2010 um, June they got um, uh, they got like 15 or 16 times 16 uh, percent sale they got a 16 percent sale because if you just go up you can see that they bought they paid 42 dollars to buy something that was 59 dollar worth they got a sale in 2010 june that's brilliant but right now it's 2.41 times more expensive let's go to other ratios and look at current ratio if the current ratio is less than one that means stock is risky it's um and uh, because the liabilities are more than assets if it's less than one if it's 1.5 or more than that that means stock is safe and um, you know you should buy it like it's safe it has good margin of safety if it's 1.5 or more than that let's have a look once it's loaded So I'm looking for 1.5 or more than that. Right now it's more than 1.5, so it's a safe stock. That's brilliant. Let's look at the previous trend. Has it ever been below 1.5? That's my question. So since 2009 up till now, since recent nine years, the recent 10 years, um, it's always been 1.5 or more than that. Um, that's brilliant. So it's a very safe stock. Let's go to debt equity ratio. I'm looking for 0.5 or less than that. This ratio will tell me if the stock is mainly operating on debt or equity. So I am looking for 0.5 or less than that for it to be brilliant. Let's have a look once it's loaded. So right now it's um less, uh, it's more than 0.5. Um, I'm looking for 0.5 or less than that. So it's a dangerous stock. Yes, it's a risky stock. Let's look at the previous trend as well. So I can see that since 2005 up till I would say 2012 June, it's a safe stock because it has always been below 0.5. But uh, since 2012 September up till now, it's always been above 0.5. So it's a dangerous stock. Let's go to return on equity. I'm looking for 8% or more than that for it to be brilliant. Let's have a look.
okay i can see that it's uh, more than eight percent it's brilliant let's look at the previous trend has it ever been below eight percent no it hasn't so since 2005 up till now it has never been below eight percent that's brilliant 